Hey, Bandits fans, Sam Brief here with another edition of Brisbane Banter, and now honored to be joined by the skipper of the Bandits, the great Dave Nilsson. What's up, Dave? Sam, how are you doing? It's been a long time. Uh, we saw each other during the American Association, and I'm excited that you're going to be joining us this year. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, last time I saw you was in Wisconsin. Next time I see you will be in Brisbane. And on that note, tell me why Bandits fans should be excited for this year. Well, baseball's back. You know, we've been interrupted by COVID for a few years, and now we've got the the ABL schedule, the 40-game schedule, 20 at home, 20 away, and uh, it's exciting. We've got a great team, gr great group of players. We have the Australian players, the, the core of our Bandit team back, and we've got some really exciting players from the American Association, the Milwaukee Brewers, and also Kansas City Royals. So I think you're going to see a very athletic, powerful team this year. Your team won four championships in a row, as Brisbane fans know very well. And you've got a lot of that championship core coming back. Donald Lutz, TJ Bennett. What does it mean to have those guys back in town? Yeah, I mean, it was a while ago. I mean, you know, COVID's really interrupted a lot of things, but it is great to have that experience back. You cannot replicate experience. You cannot replicate know-how of, of how to handle big situations. And the two you mentioned are big game players. So... Uh, I have I have a large group of players who experience that four Pete, and there's a lot of knowledge and understanding they can lean back on. So um, I think that's going to really bode well with a lot of the young, exciting talent as well, and teaching them. And can't wait. Let's get it going. Let's do it. I'm ready. We got to yeah. wait a few more days, but I'm yeah. I'm pretty antsy for it too. Okay, Dave, I want you to give me one player who Brisbane fans have probably never heard of, who by the end of the season they'll know very well. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. It's a tough one because I don't know who to pick from. That's why it's tough. I have a lot of players. I generally, as a general rule, I don't like to pick out players. So I'm sort of going to break my my unwritten rule here. But I'm going to go with a really interesting player, Tyler Tolbert from the Kansas City Royals. Um, he'll be playing center field for us. Hasn't played much center field, but I think when the fans of Brisbane see, they'll understand. We have Logan Wade, obviously, who plays shortstop. Tyler will play a bit of shortstop, but he stole 60 bases last year for the Kansas City Royals and their farm team. Wasn't caught stealing one time. And I think in his three years of professional baseball, he's stolen 143 bases and only been caught three times. So really curious and excited to see him in action. A bandit stealing bases, it feels pretty fitting. So uh, we'll assume that he won't be caught at all this season. Dave, thanks for highlighting him. And I appreciate you breaking your unwritten rule just for me. So thank you for that. Exactly. Dave, so you're heading off soon to Sydney and then to Japan. Of course, with Team Australia, it's going to be a really awesome exhibition series in Japan on the 9th and the 10th. What are you most looking forward to there? Again, the Australian team, we haven't been together. The men's team hasn't been together since really 2019, November. So you're looking at three years. You know, we we had a wonderful experience in Tokyo, the Premier 12. We had some good victories. We finished six, which was a pretty good achievement at the time. I think we have a lot more in us and, and we were really building momentum and then, um, you know, had that break. So I'm really looking forward to sort of starting over, getting getting the band back together again. Um, and just see, seeing everyone's faces, I know all the players are really excited, really excited to get there. Then obviously we're going to be treated really well uh, playing against Team Samurai, which are ranked number one team in the world, in the world standings. Um, and we're going to have pretty big crowds and support in the Dome there. So the experience is going to be good. Um, really, really big challenge for us. We only got two games. Um, but my takeaway is really just starting the campaign for the 2023 World Baseball Classic in March. Um, and this is going to be a, a great time to get the group together, not just the players, all, of this, all the support staff, the physios, the, the performance trainers, um, the front office people, because everyone needs to be on board at every level for any team to have success. So uh, I'm really looking forward to get everyone in one place at one time and uh, getting going. A huge event. If you got any room in your suitcase, you let me know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see uh, if you can fit. <laughs> Hey, I'm a little guy. So 40,000 people in that dome, huge event, of course, in Tokyo. Then you play the first full real ABL season, right, since your last championship. And then the World Baseball Classic. It's kind of a booming time right now after a dead period. 
So what do you feel is the state of Australian baseball right now? Well, you say booming. It's a busy time. Um, I think the state of Australian baseball, I, th I think we're just hungry to play again. You know, it's just what, one of the real downturns of COVID I noticed is it has been so long. Um, people just forget about the excitement that comes with turning out the stadium and watching games. You know, the players are the players are starting to remember it now just as they're starting to be with each other on Zoom meetings. And I, I was with the under-23s in Taiwan. Um, I, I think we've just forgotten how much fun and how exciting – Australian Baseball League is um and that that's that's the thing that I think everyone's really going to enjoy just getting back on the field listening to you do the commentary watching games um having a good nights out and and watching the banders play well so I think everyone's really going to enjoy this season I know I will I know you will and of course the fans so Dave thanks for hyping us up and November 10th can't come soon enough so really thank you Dave awesome look forward to it that's been Dave Nilsson. I'm Sam Brief, and this is Brisbane Banter. We'll talk soon, fans.